Hey, this is IndieWire on the scene. This is Park City 2007, and we're at the Sundance Film Festival. And my name is John Cooper, and I'm the Director of Programming. We've had a lot of like kind of problems with the parasite marketing of sort of like um, and swag bags and all that junk that comes around. I mean, it's fun, and the party. And I don't want to not go to parties, but all that's fun. But really, the focus and what we're trying to concentrate is on the films and the filmmakers. You know, each year it's a different crop. I like that there's some filmmakers that I I already know that are coming, but it's that the, the excitement from them of knowing that this is a big deal to them and this is the, you're launching careers here people are discovering them that's what really I think makes it uh, different it's sort of like you know you talking about green lighting films I kind of get to green light 125 films which is nobody gets to do that in the world The, f the story that I was able to capture in New Jersey was just this moment in time where this police officer who'd given 25 years of her life suddenly realized within just you know a couple months of the end of her life, if she didn't give her, do her domestic partner her benefits, her domestic partner, who was an auto mechanic, was going to lose their house. So it's got a sort of dramatic quality of what's going to happen, and it's also really topical because it's an issue that's happening in many communities across the country. What I've learned about myself is that I make controversial films, um, films about controversial social issues, usually told from the perspective of a strong female character. Freehold is no exception. And I, I'm sure that my next film will be about some kind of sort of intense social issue, probably told from a woman's perspective. I'm thinking a lot about what the next film would be. I'd actually like the next film to be a feature length. It's been great and fun to do this short, but I may be ready to sort of sink my teeth into something bigger and longer. Hi, I'm Anthony Kaufman. I'll be reviewing Chicago 10, which premiered last night at Sundance Film Festival. Some of the people said the animation uh, looked a little bit like Grand Theft Auto. I didn't really mind it. Um, I do think, though, that the most uh, potent parts of the film are actually the old-fashioned archival footage. And you actually hear the uh, sound effects of, you know, batons, police batons, cracking into the protesters. And it's interesting because I know that the filmmaker, Brett Morgan, wanted to uh, update the historical documentary by using this animated uh, reenactments, by using uh, uh, contemporary music like Eminem, Rage Against the Machine. But in fact, it's, it's really this protest footage that I think is the best thing about it. I do think that, you know, ultimately that there is a power to the film. I think it's primarily preaching to the converted and that, um, you know, the people that are going to go out to see this are already the people who are, uh, you know, part of the move on crowd. <laughs> IndieWire on the scene in Park City is sponsored by Fox Searchlight.